So we just got started hydrating uh, the back side of the building there, and now I'm taking two more rolls out to our field, our pasture, where we have a fairly steep hill off of the house and the pool area, and where the, this is the first world problem, where the pool drains, we have a huge ditch that's been created uh, because of erosion. And this is a perfect case for using this material. This is one of its main primary uses. So I'm excited to get out there and uh, get it all put together. It should be pretty easy. We're going to lay two rolls out. Uh, Paul's going to be over there hydrating, and I'll get this one done. By the time he's done hydrating there, we should be able to hydrate over here. So that's the game plan right now. Things are going pretty smooth. It's a beautiful day. I'm really, really grateful for uh, Nuna Innovations and what they sent me here. I think this is a great product. Um, it's really, really is innovative. Uh, now, they're a distributor of it. They didn't make it, uh, but apparently it was two graduate students that figured out how to build or to make this stuff. And uh, they did it as part of a Britain uh, military. Uh, hello to all of you Brits over there. Uh, uh, what was it? It's like a competition to see who could make some innovative, quick to deploy, uh, easy to use uh, shelter fabric. And they created it, they won the competition, and, oops, there's another one, another one connected. And now, it was originally used in uh, essentially their blow up shelters, uh, which I would love to get one of. Uh, but, uh, now they, they sell thousands and thousands of feet of this stuff as just um, for erosion control and stuff like what we're doing here. So pretty cool story. Neat how just a couple graduate students thinking outside the box came up with a better solution than probably major companies out there. So that's neat. Anyway, well, I'm getting the gate open here so I can get the tractor through on a golf ball. And... Uh, take out this fabric. All right, just made it to the problem area. I want to show you what we what we got here. Now, uh, I've already had to dig kind of the edges out. This this trench that we had, it used to be like a foot deep, and I dug the edges out yesterday when it was raining, uh, so I didn't have the camera. Sorry about that, but let me show you here. Here's where the drain starts, and then all that I dug out. Well, I dug in, I should say. And then you can see where it's going down the hill here and see all that. So we're gonna cover a lot of this up. And then it goes down in the field there. And the problem is just volume. When it uh, opens up, you get a lot of volume coming through here. So we're gonna get the fabric all set up, gonna tack it down, do some overlay with it and run it down the hill, see how it does. That was cool. So I'm just gonna cut it up a little bit, get rid of some of these big grooves. Try to flatten it out some more. That's nice. I just got three rolls rolled out, just a few minutes. I'm winded just because of the fact you have to kind of pull them into place and they are about 200 pounds a piece. I'm a little curious to see how tough this stuff is and I need to put a little bit more of a divot in to this uh, trough so I have an idea. We're gonna see if this stuff's Martian proof.
So this is the most heavily trafficked area. The cow trail, horse trail, comes right through here. This is where they like to walk. So I'm gonna put a little extra security in here. Help secure the fabric. There we go. I'm gonna go tack down the very bottom and then we're gonna start hydrating. Everything is nailed down. It's sealed. The seams are screwed, screwed down, and we're ready to hydrate. So I'm gonna actually go open the uh, drain to the pool, because uh, I need to start doing that, and we're gonna let some water flow down here. Uh, you're gonna be the first ones to see it before I do. All right, so still got a lot more stuff to do today, but uh, this turned out real nice. Happy with this. It looks like the Wabash Cannonball here. Uh, nice little water slide, if anything. Not that once it turns into cement, I'd want to slide down it, but looks like a pretty darn good product. It's tough. I got that PVC liner on the bottom of it. Makes it waterproof. It's certainly easy to put in. I mean, can you imagine pouring cement for all this, how long that would take? We've been at this now for about two hours, almost three hours. We got the building uh, done and we've got this going uh, and it just has to hydrate. So I need to get a hose out and actually do a bunch of hydration here. So that's it though, uh, pretty easy. I'm really, really thankful again for Nuna Innovations for sending this to me. Certainly gonna solve this problem. Uh, those trenches, like I said, some of them were about a foot deep uh, and that was a real problem and they just kept getting deeper and deeper. So this will significantly help with that. I think the biggest concern I have is just on this one and I can fix it. I just have to get a shovel and uh, shovel dirt over the lip and that's it. But for, for this year, I think it's good enough. I gotta take the animals off the pasture anyway because it's getting wet and if you leave the animals on a wet pasture, they'll just destroy it. Uh, so, uh, but this will be good. Uh, this, and what we got in the back of the building is going to be good. So again, thanks Nuna Innovations for sending this stuff. It really is cool. As an engineer, I was talking to Paul, you know, uh, you really come to appreciate materials and what materials can do. Uh, without materials, we can't build anything. So having an innovative material like this, uh, having access to it and getting it is really, I really, really appreciate it. Um, and the simplicity of what they did uh, and how strong it's going to be, it's just amazing it's just really cool nice job to those inventors graduate students uh, anyway I need to get back to work Got a lot more chores to do so I hope you enjoyed this episode uh, of us putting this all together uh, thanks again to Nuna Innovations thank you to all of you for following along if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter if you like uh, as well in the meantime everyone this is the real Martian out